Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel CodeLogic. So today we are going to see how to develop a faculty management system. So in our previous video, we have seen uh, login for the admin. Now uh, we are going to create the admin dashboard. So now before moving further, if you want any school or college project, then you can contact us on our Instagram ID. Link for that is in the description box below. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, now uh, we need to create some components here for that we are going to use the command nggc admin so inside admin folder components we need to create a component named dashboard maybe we can call it as a admin dashboard okay you can see inside the component folder there is a new folder there admin dashboard inside which there are four files you need to open that HTML file here. Okay, but before that, uh, inside our app routing module, we need to add that route for the admin dashboard. So we copy that login routing route, and similarly, we add it for the dashboard. We need to change the component name to admin dashboard. Now we'll close this file. We remove everything from that HTML file. And now we are going to create our dashboard here. So we are going to use the container fluid class with the margin and padding zero. Now we are going to create a new row here. Inside which we are going to create a column of two length and there will be another column of 10 okay first column we'll call it as a sidebar and then second column we call it as a body for that particular tag and for sidebar we need to add the BG color light, BG light, and for the body, it's a BG white. For the container fluid, we need to add some styling there that is overflow hidden, and for the column sidebar, we need we have added two classes there sidebar and inside our style.css file for the admin we have declared that and now we need to create some anchor tags here with the padding and the text color as success that is that mean green and text is centered Similarly, we will create a another anchor tags here. Faculty will copy that, we'll paste it here for two times, and we'll change the name to training module, and then last one is to sign out. Okay, we need some icons so for that there is a bootstrap icons we copy that and we'll paste it here we will change this width and height to 20 similarly for training we have picked up a icon we'll copy that HTML code there and we'll paste it in our code we change its height and width to 20 and for sign out we have another icon there we'll copy that code and paste it in our HTML file okay we 
it looks good now now inside a uh, style we need to add some styling there for sidebar minimum height should be 100 vh and overflow should be hidden okay now uh, sidebar for anchor tag inside the sidebar and whenever we hover on that anchor tag we need to add some styling there text decoration must be none color I'm assigning it to the black and the font weight to 600 display as a block so and cursor as a pointer okay and for the how so whenever you point cursor on that link its color should be turned to green and it's it should be transformed okay so you can see uh, when we hover on that link it got some bigger and its color is also changing I have added the margin end there for each icon margin end 3 okay you can see it looks good now there is a pretty much good margin there so whenever you click on that faculty the faculty data should be populated here for the training also the same so to do that we need to create some more components here so we need to add a new component there inside the admin dashboard only that is faculty data and the second component will be the training data faculty training So now uh, whenever user clicks on that faculty it should be uh, faculty should faculty component should be there in a body section so for that when you click on that link we need to call a new function there method show faculty data similar thing should be there for the training also show training data and for the sign out We need to define these functions inside our admin dashboard.ts file. After that, the error will be gone. You can see error is gone now. Now, uh, we need some objects here of faculty. training of type boolean is false okay now we need uh, another method here set off so this method will set the boolean values to off that is false so whenever user clicks on the show faculty data we first call the set of method and then we'll call the faculty equals to true okay 
similarly for the trainings we first call the set of and then training equals to true now here inside our HTML page we need to inject the new components here app faculty data app training data okay now here we need to use the ng if property ng if training sorry uh, there should be a dashboard faculty and for second it should be training training okay so now we click on that faculty button faculty data works training training components is rendered here but uh, whenever we reload the page it is not coming up so for that on ng init method we are going to call the show faculty data okay okay whenever we reloads its first value will be faculty data okay that's it for the video if you have any doubts or solutions you can feel free to contact us on our instagram id Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.